what draws our eyes to his paintings again and again. In Starry Night, Van Gogh puts style front and center, a post-impressionistic masterpiece. The curved lines are meant to bounce our eyes between the stars. But a closer look reveals that the painting is composed of short, sharp brushstrokes, so that, in his words, their lines are contorted like those of ancient woodcuts. What makes Van Gogh, and in this case, his Starry Night unique? The answer, of course, is the way he uses color. Van Gogh's Starry Night contrasts the darkness of the village, where only a few window panes of light can be seen, with the swirling brightness of the night sky. And jutting between these two juxtaposed worlds is the irredeemably dark cypress tree, a plant traditionally associated with mourning. Now Van Gogh was confined to a mental institution near saint Remy when he composed this painting. Given only a small room to work in, he had to paint from memory and scraps of his earlier work. So far removed from the immediate experience of painting on location that he was used to, a year later, Van Gogh would be dead in his own hand. Perhaps the village, like St. Remy, might appear calm and welcoming, a refuge from the turbulent chaos of the wild night sky. Or maybe it's the other way around. The darkness of the village echoes the closeness of his little room, and the claustrophobia of his depression, whilst the sky reminds us of the brilliant light of the universe and a greater meaning shining down upon us. This certainly makes some sense compared to Van Gogh's earlier attempt at capturing the night sky. In Starry Night Over the Rome, the lights of the stars are somewhat dim compared to the brightness of the man-made light which reflects across the river. Here, Van Gogh prizes the brightness of mankind. In Starry Night, however, the lightness of life in the village has faded for him, to be replaced by the quasi-spiritual lights of the moon and stars. Van Gogh retreats from the world. But whichever interpretation you take, the gloomy cypress tree pierces both realities and is inescapable. It spears both the calmness and the chaos, both the darkness of the night and the night's brilliant colour, but it also connects them and binds them together. For me, Van Gogh's painting is the most wonderful interpretation of human suffering into something beautiful and perhaps beyond the frame of words. Yet it can be framed by colour and composition, and no one uses colour in a more impressive and confounding way than Vincent van Gogh. But to say that simply his use of color is what makes van Gogh unique is to miss the most important point. It seems that van Gogh was colorblind. Casanoria Sardo, an expert in color vision, put the picture in a special color vision experience room and found that van Gogh's slightly odd use of color disappeared and congruity was achieved. Van Gogh, it seems, used colour so brightly because he saw fewer colours than most. In this canvas of human suffering and resounding hope, Van Gogh uses bright colours because he could not see the distinctions between closer ones. His limitations themselves freed him to create beauty. Perhaps what makes Van Gogh unique was that he genuinely saw the world differently. In fact, he saw the world like this. Sweet dream.